Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. This is a video in Einstein Copilot series. Today we're going to look into Einstein Copilot, how you can activate it and give access to your users and what does interacting with Copilot looks like from a front end. We're also going to look into some standard actions. So let's jump right into it. Um, if you have access to an organ, if you want to follow along, you can go to your setup and type Copilot. And I go over the enablement of this in a different video, but in this case, let's assume that you already have it enabled and we just click on Copilot and that should bring you to the screen. And over here, you're just going to click on Einstein Copilot. And there are several tabs here. Uh, more importantly, we're going to go into Builder. That's where we're going to have access to all the actions that Salesforce comes with. Let's look at the first action, identify object by name. I'm going to open it in a new tab. And what this does is based on your query that you're asking for, it will identify the object that it needs to query. For example, based on the documentation here, it will interpret the user's input to determine which object the user is referring to and then return a matching object names so other actions can be taken. So it can be a combination of um, saying things like list the opportunities for the Acme account and then it will identify Acme account, meaning I need to look at account object and then it will also run a different query. So I'm just going to literally copy this prompt and add it here. And the cool thing here is it will come up with an action plan. So that is basically the brain behind it to see what actions to use. You can choose to remove certain actions from uh, Copilot. Not all actions can be removed. For example, um, identify object by name can't be removed according to the documentation. So right here we see um, first it chose to see identify record by name. Um, so searches for the CRM records by name and returns a matching list. So since I mentioned Acme, it is choosing to search Acme accounts. And then the second step is query records. So we basically looked at two actions from one prompt. I didn't have to tell the copilot to, you know, use these two actions. It is smart enough to do that on its own, which is pretty exciting. Um, so I'm not going to go over query records. Now let's look at summarize record. Um, so going to the Salesforce documentation on summarize record, um, it basically is generating a summary of the record. And you can say things like um, summarize this Acme account for me. I'm just going to literally use that example. And hopefully we'll see the dynamic plan for this will be summarized record. We can also look at it from here. It's useful view to look at because it gives you more details around the single ID of Salesforce CRM record to create the summary for, and then it passes that record ID so that we can see the result. And there's a required input for this. Let's go back here. Um, it is still summarizing the account. All right, over here, I've summarized the Acme account and it is giving me some details. So first, obviously, it's always going to do identify record by name because I'm asking about a particular object. And then it's choosing to do summarize record, where if you look at the input, it's also a JSON. Um, exactly what we saw just now in the actual action, the input is record ID. So that's what we're seeing here, record ID. And then it's actually looking for that account name. And then it's returning output. So it's very like, I like the fact that I can see behind the scenes what's happening. Um, and then it's returning me a result. Acme account is a gold partner, da da da. Um, there are related brands. So it's giving a pretty detailed view of that particular account. Awesome. Um, so we've covered summarize record. Um, let's look at answer questions with knowledge. So what this does is it will look at your knowledge articles. And obviously, this requires you having knowledge license and knowledge setup. Um, since I'm using an account that already has it, I'm going to just ask a question. Um, what is your sipping policy? So my assumption is it's going to find knowledge articles that have shipping policy information and kind of um, aggregate that over here. So perfect. So as you can see, it took answer questions with knowledge. That is the action it chose to go for. And our shipping policy offers a variety of shipping methods, blah, blah, blah. Um, the cool thing is that it also lists the sources. So you can actually click on it and go in that knowledge article to see um, what is actually spit out and if that makes sense or not. So that is really 
fun part is that it's actually showing you and being transparent because a lot of times um, these Gen AI models tend to hallucinate. So this is really exciting that it does that. Um, and let's look at query with aggregate. So this one is a complete query utterance in natural languages with appropriate context, which can include CRM object record name. So th this is, I think, a little bit advanced. Um, so it will also help you find things like, you know, show me the sum of opportunities in the last five days or whatever. Um, so you can aggregate query without actually writing a soft call query. So what is the total sum of opportunities this year? Hoping I have some records this year. If not, then the answer should be zero. But at least we can see how it is running that query records with aggregate. Okay, so I do have some data. So as you can see, it decided to use query records with aggregate, such as count, sum, max, min. Um, and then you can just see literally what the query was passed and how it is getting back the result. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. So you can, in the Copilot Builder, look at different things. And then once you are satisfied with it, obviously you can add custom actions, which we'll cover in a later video, and then you can activate it. Once you activate it, you actually have to give access to your users to be able to use it. Since I'm a user um, already, I have Einstein Copilot for Salesforce user. That's the permission set that I need to assign to the users, um, any user that you want them to play around with this. Um, and then once everything is done, um, you will see in your, over here right next to all of these top bars, you'll see an Einstein pop-up. Let me refresh my screen now that I've activated it and refresh it a few more times. I should click on it and voila, I'm seeing I have an Einstein AI assistant and it can do all the things. So basically all the things that we just saw can be done here and it will literally be sitting on top of Salesforce and you can access it. Um, so I can ask the same question and should give me the answers. I did not type a correct spelling, but hopefully it understood. Perfect, so it looks like it did understand. Shipping policy was shipping policy. Um, if I'm on the home page, is it out of that? And yeah, so you can do various things here, just like how we did in the Copilot Builder itself. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.